guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If you're new, welcome. I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty, luxury, and lifestyle videos. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and ring the bell next to it so you don't miss a video. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so today's video is a bit different. We are doing a declutter. Yes, it has been time. I do try to declutter my collection every now and then because I don't like to build up too much that I'm drowning in products and I'm not using my stuff as well. So we're going to be different. I'm going to take you to a different point of view. You're going to get into these drawers and we're going to have a look at my collection and I'm going to figure out things that I want to want to get rid of my collection. This is going to be fun and because especially when I've had a lot of new stuff come in, I like to reevaluate what I have and figure it out. But enough waffling. We're going to go straight into these drawers. We're going to go through the collection and see what we're going to keep or what we're going to give away. So stay tuned. I've got a Fenty Matte Stick and a Nabla Highlighter. So these are like my glow sticks. This is the Nabla Glowing Blush. I've decided to declutter it as well. It's pretty. I just don't really use it and I probably won't. And then also Fenty Highlighter and Cinnamon. I'm going to declutter that too. Then we're going into my blush drawer. And just showing you all my blush collection. Got some NARS, got some MAC. I've got my MAC shimmering highlighters as well. I've just got two of those ones. And that's the Swatch Wrapped Candy and Telling Glow, which is gorgeous. Keeping those two. We've got a ColourPop highlighter, Bardo which is pretty as well, but I'm going to declutter. I've sort of got my use out of it and someone else can enjoy the shade. It's pretty neutral. As you can tell, I have a theme. I like sparkly blushes. Then we've got the Urban Decay Lip Mousses and I actually use those as cream blushes. And I did a review on that. And the NARS liquid blushes. I'm definitely keeping these two. These are quite new. Hot Tin Roof is actually limited edition. So you can't get that anymore. So I'm definitely keeping that. And Dolce Vita is gorgeous. Then I've got the Narcissist Wanted blush palette. 100% keeping this. I reach for this so frequently. And then the Stingle NARS blushes. I've got a mini um, Dolce Vita. Love that. Keeping that. It's gorgeous. Pretty neutral colour. And then we've got the um, Taj Mahal blush, which also doubles as highlighter for me. 100% keeping that one. And then we're also going to keep the Sarah Moon blush in Infidic. That's also limited edition. Can't get that anymore. And I love it. And they're all shimmering blushes apart from the blush kit from NARS. One blush getting decluttered. Okay, fun draw, highlight, glow, baby glow. So got my highlight selection there. As you can tell, not too many, but not, you know, definitely more than I can wear on a face. So first I've got the Kate Moss Rimmel London highlight. Probably not gonna reach for it, so I'm just gonna declutter that so it's not sitting in the back of my drawer. Very similar to stuff I already have that I much prefer in my collection. So I'm gonna get rid of that one and give that to someone. And then I've got the ABH Amreezy collab, 100% keeping that, limited edition, it is gorgeous, it's coming back again. We have the Hourglass Strobe Highlight, keeping that euphoric strobe light, love it, subtle sheen, really pretty glow, gorgeous when built up. Then I have the Indiscretion Highlight, my first high-end highlight from Laura Mercier, keeping that one. Colourpop Loose Highlighter in Pose, keeping that. Shade Makeup Shayla collab. Then the Vlada MUA Smashbox collab, 100% keeping that. Gorgeous packaging, nice sheen. And the Fenty Beauty Duo, keeping that as one of my most used highlights slash blush. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous rose gold. The Nabla Highlighter, not really going to keep that one. Don't reach for it, let someone else get use out of it. It is really pretty though. And the Maybelline st um, Strobe, keep that, my only drugstore one. MAC Whisper of Guilt, cult classic, gorgeous pattern, keeping. And also keeping the Mariah Carey collab in my Mimi. Gorgeous, have you seen the face? How adorable is that? We are 100% keeping that. <laughs> and then we are decluttering the Kathleen Lights collab with Colourpop. All right, even more fun, mascara and lash drawers. So you can see all my lashes, Make and Max, Ardell lashes and some mascara. I don't really have too many mascaras. NARS, Maybelline and Hourglass. 
the Big Shot Mascara with the Shayla Club. I got it to support Shayla. It is gorgeous. I think I'm allergic to it. I always react and tear up, so definitely decluttering that. Don't want to keep using it. The NARS Climax Mascara I will finish up. I won't declutter, even though it's not my favourite. And then the Hourglass one I can love. I've got a mini as well, and I'll be finishing that up too. We'll be keeping. Then we're moving on to eyes and brows. I've got the Blink liner. This is fantastic for hooded eyes. Then we've got a bunch of Stila liners and Anastasia brow products, which we're keeping. Love the Stila liners. I've got both the liquid and the pen. Then I've got the Urban Decay liners. They're gorgeous for color. I've got a random Stila lippy, which we're decluttering. The Benefit Pro Contour Pencil and the Fenty Fly Liner. We're keeping those two. The Benefit one's quite funny because I didn't like it initially. It malfunctioned, but I've been getting the hang of it and using it. And all the Stila pens we're using, we're keeping, we're keeping everything in that pot. All right, we're zooming through. So now we've got just random eyeshadow singles, a few more lashes in sight. I've got a bunch of Stila, a bunch of ColourPop. We've got the MAC Glitter Loose Pigments. I've only got two, we're keeping both. I like them, got them last year or year before holiday season. Then we've got the Inglot Gel Liner, keeping that, I've got Duraline. Got the MAC Paint Pot, absolutely love it for priming my eyes, quite natural, keeping that. Then we've got a bunch of Stila, Glitter and Glow, Shimmer and Glow, you guys know I love this, I go on about it, we're 100% keeping those. Then I've got the Nabla version, which I wasn't too much of a fan of compared to Stila, so we'll declutter those. The um, Colourpop ones, which we're keeping both, I quite like them. The colour, the formula is a lot nicer than the Nabla one. I've got some Colourpop single shadows. Luckfully, I think they've discontinued. Gorgeous blue, but I don't need it anymore. I've got a better version. Then we've got Weenie from Colourpop as well, which will declutter. It's not the same. It used to be a lot more vibrant than that. I've got As You Wave, which is new for me. It looks stunning. The camera's not doing it justice. It's stunning on the eyes. It's new while we're keeping. And then I've got Paradox, which is also dried out and the formula's changed a bit. Always get compliments on it, but we're gonna declutter that. And I've got Stila Duo, did this in first impressions. Stunning, how gorgeous is that blue, guys? Oh my gosh. And then the other side with the glitter, absolutely stunning. We are definitely keeping this. I have a thing for blue right now. Don't know why, we're keeping this 100%. I've got the Benefit Cabral, which we'll probably keep. The brow gel we'll get rid of. I think it's gone. It's turned. The Hourglass brow gel I love. I use every day, especially when I'm in a rush. We've got random things like primers. We'll get rid of all of those. I think they've all had their day. More fun. I really like base products. So we have the Colourpop Foundation. Getting rid of that. Do not like it. Wasn't a fan of the formula. The Hourglass Dim Light finishing powder i'm really liking that nowadays and the geo foundation 100 keeping the nars foundation love it love the finish ben nye topaz gives me flashback these days or oh, i've noticed it more now i'm gonna declutter that huda we're gonna keep and try and make it work the galan terracotta bronzer i've already hit pan on we're gonna finish that up ColourPop powders we are going to declutter both don't really need them i've got mac one coming on the way the banana was too light for me just going to declutter those the Too faced concealer i love so we're keeping the ColourPop concealer i actually quite like as well so we'll keep those two the nars concealer it's the one popular product i really don't care for i just use it up because it was expensive the hourglass veil powder i'll be stuck cracking into this once i finish my current powder and the contour kit we are going to declutter finally barely used then the ColourPop powder we're going to keep as a setting as a setting slash block powder the mac palette we are going to 100 keep as you can see it has been well loved well used and the benefit foundation we're going to try and keep and finish and use as our sort of everyday errand foundation I think it's finally time we move on to palette. At McGrath Livion Rose. I was actually at two minds about this. We're going to declutter it. I don't really reach for it anymore. Or when I do, it's for the purple or the gold, which I mean, the purple I think is pretty unique to the palette, but not worth keeping a whole palette for. 
the gold is gorgeous but my mum's gonna get so much more use out of it so we're gonna give it to her the smashbox ablaze palette it was fun while it lasted while i used it but i've moved on i want to use sunset more i've got other warm palettes i can get a lot more use out of so we're going to pass this on to someone else who can love it the zodiac one's quite new we're going to keep this and play with it there's some colors in there that are pretty different for me the perception palette with makeup shayla i love this palette we're definitely keeping this one the glow kit by anastasia beverly hills keeping this favorite and only glow kit I love how it combines everything it's got the wacky colors it's got the gorgeous gold it's got the duochrome well loved you use it to travel all the time then i've got all my anastasia palettes norvina is new we are 100 percent keeping this definitely love the color story a lot more purples a lot to play with modern ren og we keeping this this kicked off a lot of the warm palettes we have today soft glam i really like i like the monochromatic looks i get out of it we're 100 keeping that as well we're not really getting anywhere with this declutter are we <laughs> i'm keeping everything so keeping soft glam love that zoeva another og love of mine a very reasonable palette we are going to declutter two of these and keep one one i bought and two i got gifted but we're going to declutter it to someone else who will love it the blanc fusion is my least favorite it's so pale and cool toned and the colors don't really show up that well on me caramel melange i love so we're keeping that the cocoa blend was the original one i got i do like it but i prefer the caramel version to the cocoa blend the expensive section the diamond and blush i've also reviewed i really like this palette definitely want to keep it and get my money's worth sunset palette not even going to touch that we're going to keep that in the collection we're not getting rid of it then i have some melt stacks she's in parties and the haystack what a name don't know what melt obsession is with cannabis <laughs> but we're keeping those two my palettes that i've done myself I've got the foiled pigments and that's makeup geek that's mainly makeup geek and anastasia foiled and shimmers then i have my matte which is also makeup geek and abh gonna keep those two those were some of my original like shadows that i had and i've got some anastasia in the quad it's actually not just abh it's also mostly makeup geek those are duochromes we're going to declutter those i don't really use those anymore then i have the hoodoo beauty electric obsessions and nas wanted keeping both Mika max beauty queen we will declutter it performed well it's a nice palette i just don't think i'm going to reach for it compared to the selection i have i will let someone else enjoy and then we've got born to run which i absolutely love you guys know pencils so we have some ColourPop and some mac and then some random ones mac ones we're keeping all of them we've got chestnut mahogany very well used as you can see ColourPop we're keeping every single ColourPop one we've got bff3 we've got pitch we've got root dahlia keeping those very well loved then i have a random bare minerals one which we're going to declutter and the Kylie ones, we're going to keep both. I like those, they're quite unique for me. Then I've also got MAC Hover, which we're going to keep. The Bite Beauty one, it's the only one I have. I really like the formula and the shade, number 84. Keeping that. We are going to declutter the Nabla Red Lantern. It's just too much of an orange. All right, pot of miscellaneous. We have mainly glosses, the random lippy stick, Colourpop lippies and glosses, decluttering softy, this one, a champagne mommy using more, another world loved one, here's to you, Too Faced keeping, Zoeva, more like a pigmented gloss, 100% keeping, oh my gosh, look at that shade. Those two, the caffeine lights ones, definitely decluttering Aquarius and something or other, Lumiere, decluttering those two, don't really care for them hardly used random mac lippy the new bow powder kiss formula burning love really like the formula really like the shade let's start kylie jenner keeping both of these they're quite unique shades for me one's a metallic and the other is stock standard 
Then we have some NYX lip lingerie decluttering both of them. They were fun while they lasted. I just don't really reach for them and I want to make room for new things. Then we move on to my loves Stila keeping all but through all but one. Gonna get rid of Como, even though this was my first Stila liquid lippy. I'm just over this color now. Gonna keep the other three, Aria, Rico, and Chianti. Then we're going on to our Kat Von D ones, pretty controversial. I'm not really buying from the brand anymore, but I'm going to use up what I have. I do quite like the formula of the Lippy Slur, I will say, and the colors. Then we've got ABH, glosses and liquid lippies. I much prefer her glosses, very pigmented, keeping them all. Her liquid lippies, I've got two very nice shades, very pigmented. The formula is a bit, ugh, though, a bit drying and crumbly, but nothing a bit of primer and lippy balm won't fix. Random MAC Liquid Lippy, keeping 100% love this colour, always get compliments and it's so me. Then we've got the O oh Sweetie which I love the smell and the colour is pretty fun. I put it on top of nude lippies as well to make it a bit more fun. Random Colourpop Liquid Lippy, we're getting rid of those slowly but surely, phasing out some Colourpop Liquid Lippies in my collection. Neat Freak I'm keeping even though the applicator is not the best they have since changed it and then we've got some more Colourpop I'm keeping Netta as well the one Ellery did with them recently decluttering the um, other one I've had these Colourpop liquid lippies for a while now time to go then I've got NARS I've got the full vinyl liquid lips they are stunning really high pigment high shine lip gloss formula the lip glides they're like a really nice gloss really hydrating comfortable not as high shine and pigment as the lip vinyls but really comfortable everyday gloss formula then we've got the power matte lip pigments which i absolutely love the formula is fantastic the applicator is amazing and the color payoff is great then we have some randoms in the uh, sort of overflow section got some more Stila. got a sparkly one that's um spark shimmering be so i think it's called this was a dupe for me for mac re in retrograde and i've also got another dupe from colourpop the i love sarahi collab got mamacita i'm keeping those two really like those colors the sephora liquid lipsticks keeping love them formula's fantastic price point's amazing color payoff is great and then we've got a random hourglass bullet the um lip the girls i think the achiever's the one i've got i did have two Really like this shade, really like how comfortable it is and the luxe packaging even though mine's a bit manky. Sorry guys. Bullet time. So we've got Colourpop Vast Collection. I've got these three. So definitely keeping layover. Then we're moving on to some more Colourpops. So just going row by row. And I'm going to keep 27. Come on sis for decluttering. Decluttering Aeronaut as well. The black one, don't really need or use it. Also going to keep the Dose of Colours collab with um, Desi and Katie, love the colour. Bite Beauty, this is my only one, Crushed Chili, love it. It tastes and smells a bit funny though, but it's it's tolerable. <laughs> then we've got two Pat McGrath lippies, which I'm 100% keeping, more on the way. The Revlon and Nabla lippies, we're going to keep the different Revlon, as you can see, is well loved. The Nabla one, we're going to try and keep it, I feel like I've been so harsh to Nabla in this declutter. The Kathleen Lights, Colourpop, Collab, keep decluttering both the lippies, they just didn't work for me. Then I've got my Urban Decay collection, at one point I was collecting these lippies like every week. I've got Wildfire, a shade you can't buy here in Australia, You've got to, I got it from the States. Love it, very unique. Keeping Mosh Pit, keeping Amulet, stunning shade, really pretty for nudes. Keeping Blackmail, keeping them all. <laughs> Audrey really like this shade I think we're going to keep this one and the audacious lippy is the full size I've got magnetic lids I think they're pretty cool I've got this shade wait for it guys fanny <laughs> we're keeping that and we're moving on to Mac Mac collection is quite large I've got my limited edition bullet and then the rest are just normal which I've tried to arrange in color I've got my nudes, this is where a lot of my nudes are, you'll see some of them are well loved. And I've got Rebel, which is an OG, Ruby Woo, all the classics. 
then I've got a random lip density one I have decluttered one previously got the Selena collection this stunning purple is from last year's holiday collection I think or the year before I've got the Brooke Candy limited edition packaging it's just well just dressed up then I've got the MAC Mariah Carey special edition bullet how stunning is that butterfly Fenty beauty gloss bomb which I like but guys I don't get the hype though it's glossy it's gorgeous but it's really goopy sticky formula I don't know random three ABH lippies keeping two decluttering one and I think it's pretty similar to the um NARS Audrey so we're going to keep the NARS version I just like the formula of the NARS one better this is what we're looking like I've got them arranged in brand so I've got my NARS my Stila Colourpop MAC Kat Von D and ABH to one side and then this is what we are decluttering you can see some ABH some Colourpop some Zoeva Pat McGrath unfortunately and a lot of lippy products And then this is what my lipstick bullet section looks like. Lots of space for newbies, which you can be sure is coming in. <laughs> All right, guys, so we've decluttered my collection. What did you think? Are there things that did you agree with in some of my choices? Do you really just here to have an oogle at what I've got hidden in the drawers? Let me know in the comments. Have you got some of the stuff that I've got decluttered out of my collection that you're loving? I'd love to hear it as well, whether you, maybe you've used it in a different way and it's worked for you. But oh, it's so good to just spring clean and get out, get out with the old and in with the new. A lot of that and especially at this time of year when you're having so much holiday releases holiday makeup it's so nice and peaceful to just just get rid of some things <laughs> guys hope you enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did consider hitting the subscribe button on your way out and ringing that bell so you don't miss a video i can't wait to see you back here again click here to catch my last video click here to also subscribe and click here for more videos for me to post it until next time guys Thank you.